minutes after that, another man will enter. The only way to be eliminated is being thrown over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. Shot, I understand. <laughs> Referees at ringside, Des Robinson and Daz Bateman. Look at those shades. Yes, definitely a tassel for his own, Martin Kirby. But he is a good wrestler. Oh yeah, we've got to have the catwalk. Very nice, very nice. I, I'm sure that... Um, Christy Turlington and Kate Moss will be spinning in their graves were they dead. Oh, he, tried, he has put him over the top rope, but no, you've got to hit the floor. And Kirby just about checked his momentum. You're going to see everything in a rumble. You're going to see fast and furious action. You're going to see a lot of men in the ring. And you're also going to see tassels and catwalks. Nice elbow. Oh look, there's a countdown clock. The countdown clock up on the screen and they're starting it early. A 60 second countdown clock, no less. Off the ropes, Danny Hope. Extra velocity on that forearm to the back. Of Milan. I don't know whether it's a good idea to try and throw him over the corner. I never understand that really, why they try to throw them over the corner. You'd have thought that the turnbuckle adds, adds extra height and the turnbuckle post adds extra distance in terms of actually getting them out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four. Please welcome number three.
seen Dave Rainey rumbles before. He will do anything possible to avoid engaging in combat. And I think he's brought a sleeping bag and he's going to go under the ring. What's he doing? He's going under the ring. He has no intention of getting involved. He has no intention of getting his hands dirty. He's a coward. He's a loser. He's an idiot. And that's, and that's the truth. We are chick magnets, G-Man! Babe magnets! And you normally repel women as well. At my own match, yes. Where are they going? They're on the hunt. They're on the hunt for the, for the Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, they've got him! This happened last year. It was tweeting. Hang on a minute, that countdown clock's up again. We're going to get the loudest buzzer ever heard we go. in the Western Hemisphere. Eight. Double super kick by Hope and Kirby. And Dave Ray is having some fight and I love it. Who's it going to be, G? Must it be anyone? In the far corner, I'm trying to eliminate the reluctant rain. Who's your money on, Greg? Anyone but Dave Rain. Anyone but Dave Rain. We've got a panel full of girls here, we can ask. Them. We could ask the girls, couldn't we? Five girls in the broadcast. Five. Let's, let's get a straw poll. More girls in the broadcast booth than there are in the ring. Who's gonna, who's, who's gonna win the rumble, girls? He's jealous over there. He's jealous. <laughs> don't be shy, don't be shy. You'll tell us in a minute. <laughs> Women are so indecisive. <laughs> We've got a vote for April Davis, eh? April, April Davis, eh? Hey. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Girls just wanna have fun. Solidarity from the ladies. Indeed it did, but we're back in the rumble. Well, now we better just concentrate on what's going on. Instead of being distracted by the fairer sex. You do understand what that word means, don't you, Juma? I understand that we've got five seconds going on one o'clock. And that means entrant number five. Please welcome entrant number five. Oh, Vigilante. my God. Johnny. This man's a beast! Kirby went airborne! He suplexed Thompson over his head! Oh, he's gonna kill Dave Wayne! This is great! I could never tire of seeing Johnny Moss annihilate Dave Rain. Oh no! Oh no! Elimination! Quite literally! Johnny Moss, the vigilante! An absolute physical specimen! Has been eliminated! Let's go with Liam Thompson! Liam Thompson! Has been eliminated! Oh, and he came back in! He shouldn't be doing that, but the referees are concentrating on. Has Dave Rain been eliminated? Has the referees seen? Did the referees see Liam Thompson get eliminated? I don't know, but they must have heard. Richard Parker announced it. I think Liam Liam Tom Well, you're right. If the referees don't see it, they can't call it. Excuse me, are you Christine Draguilera? Sorry. Your glasses are fucking up, right? 
I'm concentrating on the action. I'm concentrating on the action as well, Greg. Johnny Moss got backstabbed by Liam Thompson. Johnny Moss has always survived it and he's doing absolutely right. from the Moss German suplex. Rain went under the bottom rope, did he not? He did indeed. Thompson's already been eliminated. But the referees, as you quite rightly pointed out, G-Man, did not see it. Gone through the seconds. Oh, and there we see it again. That shoulder block. Spear through the middle rope from the American. Now, wait till Mossy gets up. Oh, does he not like Americans? He doesn't like anybody. He's an absolute machine, Johnny Moss. Yes. Bad shot. Thompson, who's really in this ring by default. I'll take my glasses off for this because I want to see the whole in HD. There goes Thompson again. He's already been eliminated once. Moss, so throwing over the top rope. The referees are back in position now. Wake up, referees! You've got a man who's been eliminated, the ring announcer told you, and instead you're tending to that buffoon in his frilly shirt, which he probably nicked out of a skip at the back of TK Maxx. Other shops also available. Any shop. Primark. Poundland. Entrant number... Number seven, I believe. Please welcome to number seven. He is the other half of Fight Club. King Fight. That's right, Liam Thompson's tag team partner, and this gives Fight Club a fantastic advantage in this rumble because they will. He's an absolute muscle mountain, Johnny Moss. He's a walking advert for a great diet. Absolutely. And a good thing. Indeed. Eating right. He's clearly been on the DDP yoga. Have you been on the DDP yoga? It hasn't worked for you though, has it? Shall you get in there? Yes, yes. Say the girls love it. You're not that kind of, you're married, aren't you? But what your wife doesn't know, won't hurt you? You don't listen to a word I'm saying. I'm, I'm engrossed in the action. You're full of it tonight, aren't you, Greg? Oh, a short clothesline by Johnny Moss on Kid Fight. With authority. Mike yeah. Kirby, meanwhile. Oh, and he's. A little bit of double team action there by Kirby and Moss. I, I think Kirby, I think he feels happier on Johnny Moss. Hey, hey. Nobody 
moves. And again, nobody moves. Forearm from Johnny Moss to Tommy Dreamer. And another big right hand by the vigilante. Reverse knife edge across the t-shirt of Dreamer. Meanwhile, you've got Johnny Gargano in there with Kid Fight. You've got Kirby on Liam Thompson, who's living on borrowed time. He shouldn't even be in there. Dave Ray's been eliminated. He, uh, well, he hasn't been eliminated. Remember that? He hasn't been eliminated. But whether we'll see him again after he got suplexed on his head by Moss is a moot point. Thompson has got his Yeah, it's kid, kid fight with Johnny Gargano on the far side. Moss and Dream are still going for each other. Hell for leather. Freddie Dreamer. <laughs> Meanwhile, Martin Kirby charging on Liam Thompson. Thompson with a drop kick. Three seconds. Here we go. Who's it going to be? He shouldn't even be in there. So you got Kevin Steen and Tommy Dreamer and Johnny Moss all in the ring. And Kirby and Michael. That's some but, beef. But of course, Martin Kirby and Liam Thompson is in there illegally. As I keep pointing out. Do, 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 do catch up, G-Man. Just making it clear. And Dave Rain has not been eliminated. No. Just making it clear for the Cubans. Oh, what a super kick by Gargano. And Steen spat at him. So he kicks him again. And he still didn't knock Steen off his feet. And that, oh, he's got him up. He's got him up. Oh. Kevin Steen eliminating Gargano with the F sync. has been eliminated. Officially, that's only the second man to be eliminated from the Spring Slam Rumble. We've got a showdown here between Steen and Dreamer. Oh, now we've got two hardcore innovators here. Two men who. Oh, look at this, toe to toe. Absolute specialities and anything goes and no holds barred. Hence the fact they're trying to claw Nine, each other's eyes out. Eight. Oh, and Fight Club now. Fight Club! Oh, Fight Club, the 10 shots! Subtitles, he will actually, he will see this DVD. I love you, kid. Pull me into this wrestling world, kicking and screaming. Guess what? Oh, look at that! Kid, kid Fighters eliminated, I believe, Martin Kirby. Same air Can we Can we call this one? Keith Myatt brought me into this wrestling world, kicking and screaming, and ten years later, I'm still kicking and screaming. Does anyone have any hair in this room? Martin Kirby has been eliminated. Johnny Moss is still in there though, and he will need both of them. Why do you go 
Fight Club to take him down. So join who? Join in the rumble. What are you trying to say? You can join him with the No Hair Club. I've got more hair than any of them put together. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Have you seen it this time? Have you seen it this time, refs? Absolutely, it is a physique and a half. The look at Keith Myatt, he's buoyed by achieving the impossible. Eliminating Johnny Moss, just seconds after Moss had got rid of Fight Club. Like a beast manatee. Keith Myatt must be, he must have felt like he's got a chance of winning this rumble. And he's in there with this, 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 this fitness freak, Jim Powers. He's not been on the DDP yoga, I'll tell you that. veteran of the ring walls. I'll tell you this. I'll tell his missus. Keith Myers. I'll tell his wife. I'll tell his kids. That's your fault. That is your fault. I didn't say that. Rewind. Editing. Stephen Tovey, I need you. I've got some money left over from DiBiase earlier. Stephen, I'll pay you off. I don't care. Gilligan Gordon's in the ring. Myers coming for you. What's going on here? It's like Mr. Blobby and Mr. Blobby 2. And the crowd is start, starting to sing a song. I believe that is a fandango. That's what that's called. How disrespectful to the world-class action and the quite incredible athleticism that we are witnessing.
right, suddenly, 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 it sounds like shoots. Jim Powers is going to use that impressive blubber, possibly to good effect. But I tell you what. Jim Powers has had a workout in his life. You know what? I said this earlier, he's been going to the gym once, maybe twice a month. But this is like a David Attenborough documentary. Has, has he managed to get through the door yet? This is like a David Attenborough documentary. This is the murder of Sebron. Really, but I think someone. I think his gym membership got cancelled. I think he's I think he's standing order bounced. The PCW crowd are so into this. This is a five-star classic. I hope the Wrestling Observer are watching. They're always observing. Well, he's squatting on him again. has had a coronary. A wrestling move from an official! Made that too! Oh, I think Gilligan Gordon's been watching Dave Mastiff. What a clothesline. Oh, wouldn't he? That's his client, of course, Dave. Dave? Oh, great. He's actually the, probably the best wrestler in there at the moment. Keith, Keith Meyer, that is. Keith Meyer. Obviously, Keith Meyer. What great cardio we're seeing from Keith Cap from Keith. He's obviously been on the calisthenics. Oh, oh, and he drop kicks! Jim Powers in the head! He was wearing his sweatband like Tommy Cooper. And now he looks like Tommy Cooper. Prostrate. one slight problem with this. If the two referees are in the ring, who's calling the eliminations? I'm needed here. Ten, it's a slight more in the pot, is it not? I'm not there. I'm in the room Don't look at me. I think there's some serious professional G-Man. You shouldn't say that, G-Man. We'll tell him, we'll tell him. Oh, look at this, here we go. Here's a pair of physical freaks. It's like Jabba the Hutt meets Vicky the Viking. Vicky Pollard. 
It's a shove off. I wish they would both shove off. Oh! oh. Where's Dr. Shelby when you need him? Please tell me Dr. Shelby is coming out. And he's just put one on Jim Power's head, and one on Daz's head, and one on the Nordic Warrior's head. And, well, Keith Myers got one as well. As has Des. The referee's on the power. Absolutely no idea what's going on here. Beautiful. 
competition to eliminate themselves. What? What genius! Does he? he doesn't understand. He's from the backwoods of Norseland with Father Abraham and the Smurfs. Oh, the Nordic Warriors eliminate Manson. And that's the end of DBS's investment. The stock market has just crashed. We are in a triple dip recession, G Man. is now in there with this bulbous individual who claims to be a fitness freak. Keith's gone. Keith's taken my last bus home for free. You should stop saying these things, G-Man. system in there somewhere. Travis. Travis remembers the shoulder. He remembers what he did to him. He just beating the living bejesus out of this uh, yes. this exercise. This exercise nut. He's not, he's just beating them. Oh my goodness. He's unleashed. Oh. You're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am, Gregory. Just ask my mistress. Rampage Brown and Travis are having fun now with this kid. Is he going to finally be eliminated? Oh, there we go! Two powers has been eliminated! Four. You, what 
Drives your problem with Chris Travis. Look at him! He's a good he's got he's a good looking lad. the rumble no one gets a title shot isn't really? that how it works oh who knows isn't that how it works Sam Wilder has been eliminated on him on the bus back to home tossed over the top rope like he was nothing what a team what a team is it did you know about this how did you know about this inside the knowledge please welcome Oh, it's Disco Sam. Sam Bailey. Yeah, he doesn't look too. Super Sam Bailey. Up with his chest. Up with your chest. If you, Sam, Sam, maybe he wasn't meant to come out at 22. Maybe he thought he was coming out at 30 and he hadn't finished it off. Well, he's got half his chest shaved. Well, let's put it this way, mate. And that was Steve Austin and Triple H. This is the British equivalent. He'll need to be super. Oh, they're going to kill him. Oh, that took the hairs off the other side of his chest. God bless you, my boy. God bless you. What a double choke slam by this new team single. Friends does T-Bone have? He had Alpha Female and Shanna on the last show. Now he's a Rampage Brown Bubblegum. Is he trying to take over the whole of PCW? And there goes Bailey. No one's gonna stop these two guys. That's what they say in Rumbles at this point, isn't it? No one's gonna stop these two. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Bailey has been eliminated. These two guys are not going to fight each other. Oh no! Seven, six. Bubblegum has hatched the perfect plan. I'm done. 
class partner, a collective partner behind him. Beautiful drop kick by Rafael Brown there. Absolutely it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, they're toying with the young lad, and for all Noam Dar's incredible plethora of skills, the numbers game is surely going to be too much for him too. What a close line by Brown. Oh, this guy's a killer. T-Bone is a cerebral dissector of the human body. Double suplex. Oh, they're holding him up forever. They can just throw him over the top rope. Flexed him because they knew they need to make sure they were back concentrating on that ring entrance. They're going to Dar as well. Surely. Well, this is either number 26 or 27. I've lost count. Rampage Brown bounces off the ropes. Goes back. The master plan. was 
passed down for the rumble. I saw him on the sheet, but I didn't see him backstage during the interval. He wasn't there. I'd heard it. I'd heard that he hadn't made it for some reason, but there was he played his music thinking he was going to be here. There has been that big crisis. whatsoever that he was intending to come back tonight. We've not seen him. Oh, T-Bone's out! T-Bone's out! T-Bone has eliminated! What a shocker! Dave Mastiff eliminates T-Bone. But yet we've not seen Lionheart in four months, not since Festive Fury. We have no indication. He's not wrestled anywhere. He's not wrestled in his native Scotland. He's not wrestled in England. He's not wrestled anywhere. He's not wrestled for TNA, has he? And I think he's back for the PCW title. Today, six foot four in fantastic shape, a luminary of future shot wrestling, GPW, Infinite Promotions, New Generation Wrestling, and now Preston City Wrestling. And he's taken it absolutely. And now he's look at this, he's setting up on Legaro, blocks the kick, Legaro takes one to the side of the masked head. Tiger Bomb from Gibson. Kick to the face by Zack. Oh, Zack's on fire here. And now Lionheart, who might be a little rusty. No, he moves into the Furinaji! Oh, 
Plastic will pick the bones of this carcass, given half the chance. We've got some talent in this ring, and we've only got two men left. Two to come. And one isn't Dean Allmark. Well, who knows? It could be anybody. The unpredictability of PCW here at Spring Slam. Only seven can now win this Rumble. CJ Banks has got four. Yeah. But my money's on Mastiff. CJ Banks has got game, Gregory. Game. My ah, money is on the B-Word. Ah. Ah. This is not a time to be discussing what they're wearing. Get, get Danny home. Oh. Legero and CJ Banks squaring off. We've got Lionheart unloading on Mastiff, who just cannonballed two men at once. A moment ago, Mastiff, though, with his low centre of gravity and his sheer mass, has got to be the favourite because it's so hard to get him out of the ring. But then again, you've got Zach, Zach Gibson, he's supremely conditioned. You've got a pound for pound best, CJ Banks. You've got Joey Hayes. One of the best anywhere. And of course, the, the MVP in the match of the night. Oh, the girl, oh no! Dave Bassett has been eliminated. There goes my pick. They ganged up on him. It was the. He fell for the tried and trusted all gang up on the big guy spot. Ten, nine, eight. It's the last first hit. Who's the man gonna be? Who's the last man in the rumble? Touch me! The Lancashire Terrier! A woman entering the PCW Rumble! She actually that's the this young lady did tell me earlier she was in it. And I forgot. In all the excitement. Oh, I'd love to see her kick Joey Hayes in the face. Oh, so him on his head! She's not, she's not, she's not gonna suplex him as well, surely. She's just an absolute powder cake, this girl. to Japan and she's come back an absolute killer oh she's German suplex CJ Banks she's unbelievable is what she is oh it's like a it's like Hell's Gate Hell's Gate from April Davids she knows she can't trade well that's right and a submission isn't gonna help her a submission isn't gonna help her in a rumble Save CJ Banks from April. But there will be a time. Get him, April! Get him! But there will be a time. Get him! Shut up, Brad! 
Look at this though. We're down on the final four. It's the cream of the crop. Who will rise to the top? Joey Hayes taking it to Liguero. Zach Gibson taking it to Lionheart. Surely Lionheart couldn't do it, could he? What a comeback story that would be. Could Zach Gibson do it? A, a debutante, I believe. Or will Joey Hayes? So often the bridesmaid. Rarely the bride. Oh, Lionheart just kicked. Gibson! Ligero! Another one who so nearly hits the big money match. Never quite. Never quite wins it. I saw El Ligero in the New Generation Wrestling Rumble. He came second in that. You know, he could do it. It's wide open here in PCW. A Spring Slam 2013. As the late great Brian Moore once said, it is up for grabs now. I don't think Zach Gibson wants to remind me to remind him of that game though. And is he going to nail it? No, Gibson put the brakes on and put him on the ring apron. Not enough to eliminate him. Ligero standing, teetering on the brink of elimination. Gibson's got him. Tiger bomb time, perhaps. Ligero over the top, ropes and out. Goes to the kick. Nice block by Gibson. Ligero reverses the standing waist lock. Elbow from Gibson. Is Gibson going out? He's hanging on. It's amazing athleticism. Joey Hayes pushes him. Oh, and Gibson held down the top rope. And Ligero's gone, and there's three left. Lionheart is down. Lionheart, though, has got a great opportunity. If he can just drag himself to his feet from memory, four months out of the ring, he's got a perfect opportunity here, Lionheart. Joey Hayes and Zach Gibson are on the ring apron. They are vulnerable. Gibson is hooking Joey Hayes' arms. Trying for the tiger bomb. Lionheart's pulling himself up. The crowd are getting behind Lionheart. Joey Hayes, though. Joey Hayes setting up for the pile driver. Can Lionheart, all he Lionheart has to do is stagger a few feet across. And he could knock them both out. Oh, and he, oh, he nearly did. Oh, and Joey Hayes hung on. Gibson eliminates it, though. Absolutely right, a festive fury. You're right, Joey Hayes beat him. He teenage kicked him into retirement. Are we going to see Joey Hayes, who came second at the Road to Glory tournament, finally earn that title shot? Or are we going to see the fairy tale of Preston? It slaps. It's all on the line. Joey Hayes now getting the upper hand on the inactive Lionheart. Yeah, it's very inactive. Oh, going out, Joey. No, a nice counter from the Scot. Open handed slap. Showing the heart of a lion. Lionheart, though, takes a knee underneath the rib cage. Oh, he went for the leapfrog. No, Joey, just not quite able to move out of the way in time and takes a drop kick for his trouble. We've had 30 people in this match. Oh, he's got him! He's got him! No, he hasn't! Oh, Joey thinks he's won. That's a cardinal error. Lionheart, his feet did not touch the floor. He's gone to the third floor. Oh, Joey spotted him in the nick of time. Teenage kick, not quite hard enough, not hard enough to put Lionheart down. There's a second leg, oh, he got that one. Kick his head off, Joey. Rattled his jaw. Could have put a tooth out, maybe. Put him out of his misery. Could make Lionheart want to return to retirement. Good. Super kick from Lionheart. Close line. He got it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Lionheart. The fairy tale, Dreamer. The fairy tale has come true. Oh no, Heaven, it hasn't. Oh no, 
like a banshee. My old Scott down there. Oh, Lionheart's still got some fight in him, though. And Dave Rain got suplexed on his head by Johnny Moss. And bad by Goldust. Dave Rain should have got on him quicker. Too busy ground standing. And now he's, he's resorting to psychological warfare. Lionheart's not going to fail for this. Oh, he is. I don't think he will. Though. Well, 